So to solve question 9b here, uh, what we should probably do is have a look at the experimental setup. So here's a picture of the setup, and we can see a couple of issues here. One, the um, uh, flask itself is not fully immersed in the water, and so therefore um, what we should do is have more of the flask in the water and so that the gas inside the flask is heated evenly, um, because at the moment the gas inside uh, or underneath the water level has been heated, but the gas up here above the water level is not been heated. The second thing to note is that there's also this glass tube right here, and this glass tube has also got gas in it as well, and that gas has not been heated. And so one of the things that we could do is reduce the length or the diameter of that gas tube, and that would ensure that glass tube, and that would ensure that. Um, the gas on the hole in the flask and the tube is generally being heated fairly evenly. The final thing to notice probably relates to the temperature sensor itself here. This temperature sensor is in the water. It's not measuring the temperature of the gas itself, it's measuring the temperature of the wa water in the, uh, in the beaker. And so a better thing to do would be to put the temperature sensor inside the flask itself. And so therefore it's measuring the temperature of the gas that, uh, that we need to measure to do the experiment properly.